Hello and welcome to Volunteeros, our attempt to save the world and have a great time while we do it. I'm Carter and with me September. Hello. And we are your hosts on this fun little life excursion. Yeah, you know, Carter, too many people are seeing and hearing the world in a negative way and we are here to teach you how to make a positive impact locally that will split, spread globally. Ooh, I've heard that before. <laughs> Think globally, act locally. Someone should make a bumper sticker, really. Or, or a t-shirt. Possibly. I like that. Let's not go crazy. Okay. So, <laughs> September, what can we expect on Volunteeros? Well, we're going to teach you how to get out in the community and help. We're going to talk about things that we've already done in the past and the impact that has had. And we're just going to talk about fun stuff. We're going to feature a few organizations on here and talk a little bit in depth about what they're doing and get more of an idea of where they're coming from and what they're doing to make an impact in the world. Very nice. Yeah. Well, that sounds exciting. So who's our guest for this week? Our first guest is Bonnie Murray from Team Georgia. Who we volunteered with in the who past. Who we volunteered with in the past and had a great time. <laughs> yeah. We went to U2. For free and oh, volunteered. Free. It was great. That was an experience of a lifetime. Yes, it was. She's awesome. I love her. I know. I can't wait to talk to her. Perfect. All right. Well, I tell you what. Let's get into it. Sounds great. Okay. Well, helping is fun. Uh, you get to meet good-looking people, enjoy free food, and make a positive difference in other people's lives as well as your own. And so we've got places to go and things to do. <laughs> okay. You first. All right. Well, currently, the Jars of Clay Outreach is uh, holding their 8th annual coat drive, and coats for men, women, and children are all needed. Jars of Clay also helps over 300 people a day during the entire week of Thanksgiving, so they could really use some help. To volunteer during the Thanksgiving week, go to www.jocatlanta.org. I like Pet Zone. It's a no-kill shelter in Monroe, Georgia, and they're currently looking for volunteers to help at adoption events on Saturday evenings, as well as to help walk dogs and supervise playtime during the week and on weekends. You can have actually virtual volunteers that can help with social networking sites, flyer designs, and even write magazine articles. Visit PetZoneDogs.com to volunteer. November 14th, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta will host a night to remember to celebrate the recent opening of the new facility at Children's at Hughes Spalding and honor the dedication of the Atlanta community for their support of the new pediatric-focused hospital. The night will feature a VIP performance by R&B singer Monica and a look at the new Children's at Hughes Spalding. Tickets are $50. A VSA Arts of Georgia provides access to the arts for people with disabilities and those with low income. They're currently looking for volunteers to help with their annual holiday art sale. The gallery is open daily from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., so there's lots of opportunities for everyone to come and help. Uh, to, for, for more information, visit vsaartga.org. November 21st, it's a kitty kegger. It's a silent auction event, not what you're thinking. Benefiting Good Muse, a no-kill cat shelter in Metro Atlanta. It's going to be held Saturday, November 21st from 9 to 11 p.m. An admission price includes hors d'oeuvres, dancing and music by local band Zero to Sixty, and bidding on fabulous auction items to benefit the cats and kittens of Good Muse. Visit goodmuse.org for more info. On November 22nd, the pre-Thanksgiving dinner sponsored by Struggling Single Moms is going on from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. To volunteer food or to help serve, go to helpstrugglingsinglemoms.com. Hmm, I have to pay them a visit. Oh, you are terrible. Just helping out the community. Ahimsa House. <laughs> Ahimsa House. It's a, it's a Georgia nonprofit organization dedicated to helping human and animal victims of domestic violence reach safety together. They need volunteers to staff their information booth on November 21st and 2nd at the CFA International Cat Show. Volunteers are needed both days, Saturday from 9 to 6 and then Sunday again from 9 to 5. You can contact Maya at president at ahimsahouse.org for more info. CWAC, the Southwest Ecumenical Emergency Assistance Center, needs volunteers for their Thanksgiving box distribution event on Monday, November 23rd through, no through Tuesday, November 24th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. A, a typical box for Thanksgiving will be filled with ham, turkey or hens, vegetables, bread, beverage, cereal, and snacks, and will be distributed to clients who request holiday assistance. So it's kind of nice because you can cook your own Thanksgiving meal instead of having one served to you. Hundreds of clients will stand in line to receive these, and the event is festive, includes a variety of volunteers from the community. For more information, go to sweeac.org. I like that. After Thanksgiving, December 4th, wrap it up. It's a holiday gift wrapping service benefiting the Lisa Left Eye Lopez Foundation, and it's happening at Stonecrest Mall. For more info or to volunteer, visit lisalopezfoundation.org. And we usually go back and forth on this, but this is a charity that's really close to your heart, so I'm going to go ahead and let you uh, tell everyone about that. that. Thank you very much. December 8th, Big Brothers Big Sisters of Metro Atlanta announces the big event Set for Tuesday evening, December 8th at 10 Pin Alley in Atlantic Station to benefit the youth mentoring programs of Big Brothers Big Sisters. The event takes place from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. and individual tickets are $30 each and $55 per couple. Also, after December 5th, ticket prices are actually going to go up. 
but you can spend the extra five dollars to uh, either do it online or at the door. For more info and to purchase tickets, please visit thebigevent.kintera.org. On December 12th, Save the Horses, a horse rescue relief and retirement charity, is holding a new volunteer orientation on December 12th. Both people with and without previous horse experience are welcome to volunteer. To register, visit www.savethehorses.org. You do like ponies. I do like ponies. <laughs> Terrible. You're so bad. <laughs> Make me blush. Good. Uh, also on December 12th, if you want to get a little bit of a sustenance in your body before you go to the orientation, head on out to the American Legion Smyrna Post 160. They're hosting a $5 breakfast from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. The all-you-care-to-eat breakfast includes scrambled eggs, grilled ham, sausage, bacon, biscuits, gravy, grits, coffee, and juice. Proceeds benefit various veterans and community causes. For more information, visit AmericanLegion.org. For five dollars. For five dollars. I'm in. <laughs> December twelfth, Virtuoso Music Studios in Alpharetta will be hosting a holiday recital in the North Point Mall in December. This recital will be a fundraiser for the Music Link Foundation. It's a nonprofit organization which links promising children in need with music teachers willing to reduce their fee by at least half to give them the opportunity to learn music. The students will be sharing their music with the public while raising money for a great cause. Call 770-442-0817 for details. December 12th, organizers have announced today the first annual Atlanta Santa Speedo Run. We cannot make this up. We cannot make this up. This 1.3 mile run through the Virginia Highland will pit runners against the elements as they don Speedos and holiday accessories to raise money for the local Atlanta nonprofit organization, Chris Kids. <laughs> and this is one I definitely want you to attend. I don't think they make a Speedo big enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what dimension are we talking about here, Carter? I need a big stocking. I, I, Let's <laughs> just say I need a big stocking. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> and December 14th and 15th, the Atlanta Children's Shelter needs volunteers to accept donations for their 2009 Holiday House. It's a really neat concept. It's a place where parents can go and shop free of charge for warm clothing, gifts for their children, and family necessities. To sign up, go to atlantachildrenshelter.org. Wow. Something else happening November 21st. Join the first annual Harvest Your Health Fall Festival. They're doing health screenings for all attendees, including a cholesterol check, blood pressure, body composition analysis. Yeah, I need to work on that one. Spinal health assessment, a free chair, massa a free chair massage, free acupuncture demonstrations, and a lot more. The doctors will be on hand to answer any health questions that you may have. Fun food and prizes. Will you be volunteering for any of the uh, free acupuncture demonstrations? Perhaps. Ah. I would like to see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> December 4th, the 2009 Atlanta Charity Ball is being held in support of breast cancer awareness. As a celebration with a purpose, this will be an evening of elegance, jazz, and advocacy, and attendees will dance the night away while supporting this worthwhile cause. Supporting. With both hands. I got it. I'm there. <laughs> September, that's a great calendar of things to do, places to go, people to meet. But let's talk about something that's already happened. What do you want to talk about? Do you have anything in mind? Yes, I want to talk about people making a positive impact. Ah, if you make a positive Okay, so, we, so we're actually doing good. We're going to tell people that we're doing good and show them that we're doing good. Is exactly. that what you're talking about? Practice okay. what you preach. Gotcha. Got to practice what you preach. And here's a change in Atlanta. A Falcons player showing some love for animals. Kudos to tight end Tony Gonzalez and his wife, October. <sighs> <laughs> She's my sister. Apparently. They posed in the nude for an anti-fur ad from PETA, the people for the ethical treatment of animals. The ad was photoed over the summer in Los Angeles, and it shows the couple sitting together for the group's We'd Rather Go Naked Than Wear Fur campaign. And I got to say, they look hot. They do look. Well, actually, they, they look like they'd be a little cool more than anything else. <laughs> Just in my opinion. Yeah, I don't know. They're bringing the heat. <laughs> Anyway, they're following other celebrities who have posed in the buff, including Dennis Rodman, Paul McCartney, uh, Charlize Theron, and of course, Pamela Lee. Well, I gotta say, I can now see why he is a tight end. <laughs> Positive impact. Positive impact. He's certainly having one on me right now. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty positive. So what else happened? On 